we go take a look at this. We drink some more water and hydrate. We drink a lot of coffee. There is a cat. I knew I knew you I knew either you or Fleshy was gonna was gonna say something about that. Let me have a couple of chips and salsa. Jake! I'm sorry I missed your last stream. late and I'd already streamed like six hours and I'll really miss chat when chat is slow. So chat was just slow so I just didn't see your message pop up. This is gonna be so yeah I I, I was really upset because that was the second time you did it. First time? No, I'm I'm already like seven-ish, six-ish hours into the game. I'm about to do a recap. Um, no spoiler, Reno's. Oh, first time playing it. Yeah, I thought you meant like first session. Um, yes, no spoiler, Reno's. Let me let me have a couple more chips with also. Game. Oh, really? No way. I was just about to say, because I had that question in my head before I started playing today. I was like, I wonder if this game is one of those short CRPGs. Like Vampire the Masquerade. It's technically short. I'll have a couple more of those later. My body was just craving some uh, carbs and some uh, spice. I still am kind of hungry, but I just had a salad and then, then those chips. But all right, tell me how shit my my build is. I know. Um, We're making do with this game. I'm not. I'm not doing too bad. So, do you watch Seth Sintach? Take me months to beat. Um, I've been on a big CRPG craze. This is episode five or whatever. Like you can see down below. I haven't touched this game in like a year. I even, um, I even um deleted it because I was like, hey, I don't feel like going back to it to beat it. I have too many YouTubers that are like not finished. But good morning, Daniel. By the way, good morning, Jake. Um, you should watch, watch Seth Seentach, uh, Jake, on YouTube. You should know who that is, because both these games, he did a video on this and Star Sector. 
And I'm going to have an argument with you, Jake, about calling Skyrim bu uh, Bug Fezda Slop. Slop Fezda. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I you watched the Seth video, but I didn't buy the game until way later. Um, I don't have the DLC. Um, no spoilerinos. That's just gonna be a thing for today. Um, Michael, how you doing, man? Early stream. Um, I hope. Uh, what's the word? I hope it's not too late for you. I don't like when my European viewers stay up and don't, don't go to sleep at a good time. But I think I think it's like evening. It's not like dead night for Michael. That's better. You guys can see this, and that's annoying. But I hopefully this doesn't come back. Um, my lighting setup has changed since a while ago. T uh, tis 3 p.m. Oh wow, only 3 p.m. What time? The 10 p.m. I thought you guys would have been like. Well, I guess you're just across the channel, the pond. Um. So, so Jake. Um. Oh, what I was gonna ask Jake about the DLC. Is the D well? I'm not. I'm not really gonna get it anytime soon. I might beat this game and then just never get the DLC. Um. Just cause like I don't really have the money right now, and that's okay. Um. That's not me. That's not me begging for money. I'm just. Does the DLC slot in any time is basically what I'm asking. And is it super late game or is it kind of mid game? And is that 130 hours? Look how red I am. I do not like how red I am. Is that 130 hours like a... Uh... You know if that 100... I'm a, little... I'm a little less red. We're just having an intro, guys. I apologize. Don't worry. And uh, Jake, we're gonna get start getting going here. This is your third time here. I was so pissed when I missed you to say hi the second time here. I was so angry with myself because you seem like a cool guy. Like I'm, like I'm not even trying to like suck your cock because you're like a new guy. It's because like I got I, the vibe from you sounded felt good. You know what I mean? Expedition is worth it. Mid delay. All right. Um, which is okay. I'm okay with DLCs as long as it's not like hard to get in and out of. Like it's not like you're locked in the DLC for a while. It's probably just like go in, go out. Um, so also that gives me time to, uh, well, here's the problem. It's like, I'm already level 13. Do you know what the level cap is? Um, because is it 20 or 30? Because technically I would be like 50% through the game on either 30. I mean, like, technically, it does slow down. You, you could argue I'm, like, a third through the game. Probably not even close. You would know. So, we... What were some of the most recent stuff we did? We just did Camp Hathor. We still have to go talk to Edgar. Okay. So, we, we start the game. You start the game. You are a new recruit for Southgate Station. They tell you to go fix their power supply. You do. Um, I think that unlocks from that point going... Taking a ship... To, this is Camp Hathor. Uh, taking a train. I think it unlocks their train for the most part. So I think we're past the first hurdle. Here, actually, we can read this, which is good. Deliver documents to the United Stations. I remember that. We went to... I sort of remember that. Complete tasks. Skorsky. Capture three cave hoppers. For Big Threat. I think, actually, we have a reward when we go back to Big Threat. For, so we just cleared out Camp Hath Hathor. We, we showed up. So this is technically the start of, like, after your first little grunt work. We've been to Core City. We've killed a couple dudes. Just some random, like, uh... We haven't really done anything to Core City. I went in to go trade, mostly. Um, I'm kind of fucking rich, because I, I know how to economize my play games. Um, we have the best... I'm a submachine gun builder. Well, I am, actually, a submachine gun builder. Now that I feel about it. So this is me just kind of quickly going for myself as well, trying to recap what I'm doing. Um, shot. Yeah, we're just a, we're just a uh, SMG build, which who knows if that was good or not. There's probably no ability to reroll, so I'm kind of fucked because I probably should have been an assault rifle dude. I don't know why I didn't do an assault rifle, which maybe I don't need to. 
But I, I do remember we're doing an, assault, uh, an SFG build. It's probably because we're just able to burst a lot more. I hope I didn't make a mistake with this build. I'm gonna be lurking. Yeah, uh, redownload Civ Loyal. You just want to do that those playthroughs recently? Oh, is that like that uh, Xbox uh, Civ game? If you've got uh, an Xbox 360 module, and that's what you play. You want to play Viva Pinata because it is cutesy, but it's like it's like overly cutesy. But it's just very fun and it's kind of like strategic. You have to like just it, it's just a good fun game. Sim machines are good. I have a 44 Dirty Harry Cowboy. Um, is that a is that a revolver that we spec into? Um, yeah, I don't even use these. I just have so much loot that I can't. Oh, um, what's the word? I actually wiped out the merchants in, uh, in, uh, Four City League as well. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we finished our first little bit of real grunt work. All, the first couple of missions you have, the first real overarching mission is to just turn back on some extra, extra power for Southgate Station, which you're a part of. Um, to quote, to kind of quote the set scene touch video and, um, just kind of the vibe in general, you're not really like, you're not really like a slave to Southgate station. You're not really like, I mean, maybe the story will develop and we're just going to be like, we're going to be like fucking Semper Fi, but for Southgate station, but you're kind of just a dude. Um, so I'm just going to keep shopping around. Um, junkyard, there was a casino there. This game totally could have used one or two, like, casino minigames. Or just make any minigames in general. I have, uh, a large waste pack, which grants one extra utility slot. AoE flashbangs for AoE stuns, just regular grenades, and then EMP grenades for shields and shit. Adaptive gauntlets, our perceptions are higher. Someone just messaged me on Discord. It might have been... Oh! Ooh, that's a, that's an OG, like, uh... It's an OG movie. Michael, have a limited edition? Hell yeah. I've even been the I love that game. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's just like rare. That's one of the last games we're ever made. All right, sorry for all the, the recaps, guys. I kind of need a recap for myself. Um, I have a best in slot SMG at this stage of the game. Um, this could have been missable, but I uh, I think I had a viewer tell me. So the rare shit like this, the purple, like they're, they're the like unique stuff. They're like... I have some Ninja Tab Eye Boots. I totally forgot that I had those. I looked down, and when I looked down, I was like, those are Ninja Tab Eye Boots, and I fucking... I'm a fucking... I'm a Ninja Domino... Hoodie Ninja... That's something. Okay, we can, We have to talk to Edgar to finish this this uh, quest. Uh, we came to uh, Camp Hathor. Um, the boats were down for a little bit. From Southgate Station to... Um, from Southgate Station to Camp Athor. Old coal mining outposts that turned into a hunting camp. Well, this is good. This explains... This is good. I remember we had to clear out the junkyard. There's a bunch of fucking zombies or something. We've been to, to Four City. I don't know. Is it the map or what? But my mouse feels weird. You know why it feels weird? You actually know why? I think the reason it feels weird is because, like, most games, your mouse would slightly move while you right-click drag. It, you would move it slightly, and then you'd have to move it up and drag it again. This, it just, your mouse stays in the same, the same area, so it feels kind of weird. It doesn't matter. I'll try to hurry up, Jake. It's just, um, I'm actually kind of happy to be playing this game again. Um, I've been in a real, like, CRPG, RPG kick recently. I've, I've gotten back into a couple, and then not, like, you know, do the classic thing of play it, play it for a while, and then, like, leave it, drop it hard again. But, like, I mean, it's got me back into New Vegas. It's got me back into uh, Underrail, which, if you're telling me there's a lot more to this game, I'm, I'm, some of it kind of drags on. And the same thing with Fall New Vegas. Some of it drags on. But I think what's cool about this game is, like, I'm, 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 I'm cresting out. I'm, I'm curving out to um, make decisions politically. I'm curving out to, like, yeah, I'm a, I am actually kind of like low, sh like a piece of shit right now that has nothing to do with name. But we're all, I don't even know what the, all I know is like the weird tech ninjas, the weird tech uh, raiders with like their weird like plasma, plasma lances and shit. Their plasma spears are, um, 
invading certain areas. And we actually haven't heard that yet. We got a cutscene of that. That's dramatic irony. The only irony of the three ironies that I remember. Maybe situ situational irony is another one of the three. I wouldn't know how to describe it if that is correct. Regardless, Big Brett, which I don't remember him, but luckily we have our notes. Big Brett is some important dude um, in Southgate Station. He told us to check up on Camp, Camp Hathor. They lost, uh, they lost uh, contact. Uh, we killed some burrowers, and because um, they were beset by burrowers, and we luckily the game doesn't give you dynamite. How many dynamites do I have left? Because dynamites are this weird, like semi, like key items sort of. Do I have any left? I have a jackhammer, which kind of also makes me nervous. I might have some spare dynamites. I'm not gonna use grenades. Dynamite special. Maybe maybe I get access to it later. I remember I remember reading somewhere that dynamite's weird, where like you can't get it in certain parts of early parts of the game because you can like you can like open cave shafts that you can only open with dynamite and it connects places. It's weird. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Let's play the game. Let's turn in this quest to Edgar and I'll keep I'll keep talking about what I've been doing. I've dealt with the burrowers. His eyebrows raised. Well done. Well done. I just so you blah blah. I have to be honest. Have to manage to do it. Blast some rocks that were completely. I went to the mines, punching burrowers. It's easy. I went to the mines, punching burrowers with my bare fists on the way in. Then I saw water leaking through some rocks. Punched them into oblivion, and water started rushing through. Then I roared like an angry animal as I watched them flail their inadequate legs, trying to save their lives. And now you're safe. I let's give them the straight answer. Let's not be a psycho. I blast some underground uh, rocks. After I took care of it, it took, uh, it took care of the burrowers. They won't cause you any more problems. We're all in your debt. Thank you so much. I find it quite impressive to witness what one man can do. As a thanks, I offer you a monetary reward, about 200 coins. On top of that, since I'm pleased with your work, one of the following a crossbow, a sniper rifle, an assault rifle, or a knife. All top quality, what would you like? So this kind of sucks, because they should give you a... This definitely is a fault of game design. They should give you a preview of the item you're going to get. So you know what sucks? I'm not going to use an assault rifle. I know, you must... Knife, I reckon you guys must have good knives, having so much meat to cut around here. Ugh, I don't know. We don't use sniper rifles. I don't think there also would even be a gameplay difference from using sniper rifles. Maybe it would have an, an, an addition to rate, uh, to aim, but I doubt it. I wonder what a sniper rifle would like. We can reload, actually. Excellent choice. You've earned it. Now the bug station is over. The Rat Hound King is the one thing we have to worry about again. Not the Rat Hound King. What I mentioned before, I, uh, I suppose I was too focused. Uh, who is he actually? Self-proclaimed rat hound kings are savage men with his filthy rat hounds. He appears to have absolute control of them as they behave like a small army. It's almost unreal. I don't know where he resides or how much control of the rat hounds. One thing certain he's a very dangerous individual. He's killed many burns. I don't think he's about to stop. Better run for your life. Why are you guys fighting? Salt four years ago. What if I can take him down? I'll read that again. I wanna we'll probably get the knife. I kinda wanna just 12.7 millimeter crosshair. Corsair, excuse me. Um Obviously, we're not going to use it. Impact speed. What is that? Impact speed. What are we talking about? This game has some awesome quests and base ride, but artistic min-max gameplay at times. Um, I will try not to sweat over the gameplay. I believe I have a build that can pass us through most of the game with ease. So, they got greedy with the DLCs. Expedition was full-sized, I, I hear. Um, it has some weird sci-fi elements. Uh, Heavy Duty is is a the second DLC they released, and probably the last. Sorry, I'm so red. I'll maybe I'll fix that later if I can. Um, I just read up on them right now. The, the two DLCs, Expedition is it adds a couple different weapon types, which are boring and like they don't really do anything crazy. It's almost the same price as the first DLC, which was the first DLC is actually correctly sized and bigger. Maybe they've gone down on the size. Maybe they've gone down on the price of the first DLC. So it's like, it seems worse than it used to be. And then also the second DLC adds like one special quest where you fight like elite guys, so it's super hard difficulty, sweaty difficulty, like something. I don't know if it's like a arena or what, but it said it adds one quest, which is super hard difficult for people who want to play difficult, blah, blah, blah. All right, we're going to reload that. I apologize. We'll get the knife. Um, I'm always going to be bad at melee, but melee is our dump stat. I've dealt... Blah. Knife. Third knife probably seems uh, crazy. Who is he actually? Unreal. 
He's a master of saying deadly traps, tracks, traps, and covering his tracks so well. Why are you guys fighting? Even though it's, it seems like a century. Late Gideon Sud was the leader of Camp Hawthor. One day he came before us all and told that someone called someone called, called, called himself the Rathound King was invading our hunting grounds. At one point Gideon said he had managed to speak to this man, but it turned out he wasn't anything but a filthy savage who had no interest in discussing anything with anyone. Pla man claimed the lands along with him, when he said blah blah, his stubborn attitude and he refused to blah blah blah, since then he's been attacking the hunters, the director of our trapped hunting ground. May he sent packs right out to the camp, all in all, he's caused a lot of trouble, a lot of death around here, but we revealed eventually. But if I can take him down, in that case, I wouldn't think good with that, you need to find him first. So far, we have no luck to track him down. Even if you do some other to find him, he's more likely to shine by his rat hound. Even if he's alone, he's dangerous enough. I can kill him. Um, alright, sorry about all that. Is this. Please tell me I didn't just shock, tungsten, steel combat knife. There's no way to tell if I saved before or after. Which I could reload it. I should have looked at the price, the values. Um. We'll just keep this because we're kind of good on cash. So, so what sucks is this jackknife, which apparently is a semi-unique weapon, I believe. I believe if it's purple color, it's semi-unique. And I'll read chat here in a second, everybody. Um, I'm kind of getting back in the thing, uh, swing of things. I'm also, like, tired because I woke up at 1 a.m., but that's better than waking up at 5 p.m. So my brain is not happy. I slept all day yesterday, but because my circadian rhythm is off, um, I feel terrible. I didn't touch melee. So yeah, melee seems. I I think you know what's funny. I bet you could technically do a grug uh, barbarian build. I would assume it's technically possible. You'd have to give yourself the correct shields and whatnot. Shield. Uh, where is it? Shield. But um, it is what it is. Um. But yeah, like that's that's why I do like that's why I do sci-fi RPGs. I do it low strength. I could have bumped, I could have stood to bump up my intelligence a little bit more, um, considering it's a sci-fi RPG. Um, I would have done that. Looking, uh, yeah, looking back, I would have bumped this up a little bit. I think I was like a little too dexterity and perception. I think I was a little too worried about um, guns. I could have bumped this up to six. Uh, would have been better at six at a minimum, seven or eight. Minimum. Just only because like the the, the role playing and like the skill set of like psionics and. Um, modding, uh, like hacking and whatnot. I uh, honestly do rail crossing. So where is rail crossing? GMS compound. Used to belong to a mega central that station before it was uh, abandoned. I remember that mission. Um, I don't remember in detail. And then let me see. Junkyard is junkyard. How do we get back to Silent Isle? Why is that so, like, by itself? I just... I, this is technically... Lower caves. I don't know. Upper caves? There's nothing... I do not like that there's a mega station symbol on that. I think that is incorrect. Lower passages. Lower passages. Lower metro system. Lower under... Ooh, okay. Southgate station. Boundary. Boundary's boundary. Upper under rail is upper under rail. Lower under rail is there's rail crossing. It's been a while since Oh, we uh we killed some uh some weirdos. What I think we'll remember there's more boundary. Rail crossing. The faceless. So the and I think the I think that cutscene we saw of like them burrowing into like some area around the core city i think they're all the faceless if i'm wrong don't worry about it i'll figure it out what's going on fleshy good morning Vinny. thank you for saying that fleshy. love even when you trouble in paradise but never got to play the original um let me actually turn down this game a little bit because i just realized my i've done nothing for the last 30 minutes i'm so sorry everyone um Fucking shit. Does it have to be? Oh, 
Come on now. We'll try this for now, but I bet you someone's gonna throw a grenade and it's gonna be loud as fuck. Um... I'll rebalance that in a bit. What, what sounds too loud? I really like the ASMR, but... I think that's better, because it, it makes the music pop more, which makes... All right. Fleshy, you just got, you just missed, missed the big explanation, but basically we finished, we finished the first couple of newbie acts of so the, the first like tutorial act of Southgate Station. Um, we showed up there kind of wounded or whatever, I fucking forget. We had to do some missions to help out some power situation, power supply situations. We did so, um, we have some quests to... I forget why Gorski wanted us to go to Core City. Whoever the boss is, actually. Who's the boss? Is it Big Brett? Is Counselor Tanner the the big boss? Counselor Tanner might be the big boss. I think so. Um, yeah, Brett and his agronomy. Let's let's turn down this. I don't know. I want you guys to hear the music a little bit, because I think the music will be a little bit more. We'll try this. That might be ambiental, that might not be sound effects, I don't know. Um, well anyway, we're, we were here, we, one of the, like, honestly everything's a side quest, we don't really have a main quest. The main quest is... Stuff for Southgate Station. There's an old battery recycling plant. Uh, for some reason, we have to go talk to Gorski, but that seems like the main quest, so we're not going to do that. Um, rail crossing is having problems. Um, we have to find out about that guy, which we won't. And then we need to get some raw meat from Morja at the Mushroom Cove. Why does it have to be at the Mushroom Cove? Um, we could turn in this quest about Big Brett told you they lost contact at Pothor. Let's go check out the old battery recycling plant located in the cave straight to the east from HSP. You can find some awful opto electric nuclear cells. Related equipment, blueprints, or similar. Bring it to them. Let's do that. I'd, I want to do that next, but there's nothing really to do here. Let's see if we can sell anything and then we'll get out of here. Sorry about. Ooh, let's, ooh, this is not that game. I, I pressed some buttons I should not press. Um. Do you have. So they don't really have any currency on them, is the problem. I could buy some blueprints, but that's kind of like not what we need. And do I do any crafting? Because that's a thing. I might do like no crafting. I do absolutely no crafting, and that's kind of based. Um, we'll just we'll just focus on commerce to like get everything we need. Um, I don't know what I need to do, but I do know I've got shit to sell. I don't think these guys are for me. Desaturated. One time use inhaler. Morphine shot. Used to relieve severe pain. Reduces damage taken from all sources. After the effect expires, the character takes damage equal to 50% of their missing health. <laughs> Wait, equal to 50% of their missing health? Oh, 50% of their missing health. So. Doesn't that mean it can kill you if you're like underneath 50% health or some bullshit? Alright. We probably already wiped out their, their, their shit anyway. Let's go. Cap Captain Coltrane! Take me. So we've been to the junkyard. We've been to all these. I have to go. Godspeed, matey. Aye, farewell, laddie. Take me back to SGS. 15 stygian. Oh, oh, that's... That's not expensive at all. Sorry about that long-winded 30-minute intro, everybody. I just kind of had to get back into it, too. Because it's a very in-depth game. Expedition is worth it. 30. Uh, SMGs are good. Halo 3 is the GOAT. 360. Yeah, I should have recommended him some more Xbox 360 games, but I'm sure he'll be okay. Um, We don't need to go outside there. Let's go talk to Big Brett to tell him about Camp Hawthorne. 
get ourselves a fucking. So that was an effect, and that was kind of loud. So let's turn that down. This music's a little bit loud for me. Well, now that now that everything is getting quieter, and hopefully not too quiet for you guys. There's Quentin. There's a botanist. I think Big Brett's in here. He is. What can I do for you? Oh, come on. So I can't I can't tell him about what are your thoughts on the face. Oh, so people know about the faceless invasion. I don't know much about the faceless. Hell, no one does. So this is the overarching quest line, which we we don't know how our quest line is going to involve in in intersect with the faceless. But this is like the big thing, the faceless invasion. Think about it. That's about it. They never present themselves as a threat. They live in places no same human would. Leaving all the good habitat for us, they made sure us we know next to nothing about them, their technology, culture, motivation, numbers. Maybe if they're finally feeling strong enough to take us all on. What do you think they might succeed? I don't know. What is the mushroom cove? A couple streams and rivers joined to form a cove. There the water flows further down as Salertus River. Possibly it leads straight down the deep cavern and ends up in a magnificent waterfall. I'm not so, I'm, but I'm not sold on that. That pig scared me, I'm going to be honest. So that sucks that we can't at least explain to him what went on with, um... Where's, like, the general trader? What's your character specialize in? We... This stat spread's okay. Um... I guess I really wanted to hit things. Um, I would have liked to bump my intelligence a little bit, but whatever. Um, I should have taken, like, two off the of dexterity to go to seven, and then that could have put six on intelligence is what I should have done. Um, super good at guns. Um, since we're only half level, these will all probably get to, like, 150 by the end of the... Half to max. These will probably be, like, all 150 by the end of the game. Super good at persuasion. Um, we have a little bit of psionics in us. We're specializing in, in thought control. These are the three branches of what you can, like like cast um no t uh no smithing and it's kind of based um very light dodge and evasion evasion is for range dodging dodging is for physical dodging um and this is the thing jake i'm not big into melee but this is just so like i have an option i think that's kind of like it makes sense that we're gonna get into fights and like someone will be a little bit rattled and maybe we can go for a couple stabs and finish them off because they're gonna be in our face Here's hoping. Um, and then obviously hacking and lockpicking and traps so we don't get like caught with our pants down. Um, Lucas. And Vincel. Vincent Celibate. What, huh? All right, let's... Can I sell some shit or what? How's this going to work? Can I cast bullets? Can I cast... Can I make bullets? I don't, I don't really have that... So this is worth, like, a lot more than what he has. We're good on bullets. I guess we just... Alright. Uh, does Big Brett really... Can Big Brett... What the fuck? Let's go to administration. Let's see what the counselor has to say. And then I'm going to talk to Big Brett one more time to see if I somehow didn't, like, psyop myself into... Have you heard of what's happening in Core City? Uh, no. The faceless blockaded the city. They drilled right into the city perimeter defenses with their machine that caught them by surprise. Now we're cut off from the north. Not received any assistance from the Protectorate. Is there something I can do to help? Yeah, two of our own, Terry and Laura Baker, were on a merchant mission in the north when the faceless invaded. We don't know. We know they didn't get caught behind the blockade because they messaged in from the Core City before the assault happened. That's good. They were supposed to head straight back, but this earthquake happened blocked the railway. They might have stopped by rail crossing, in which case they might have been caught by whatever troubles that happened there. Gorski tells me not to handle trouble. <laughs> I don't think she's the leader, right? There's some dude. Gorski tells me... I think Gorski punched us. So Jake probably remembers this. This is one of the only things... I remember... If there was a gun to my head, I could remember some more things. But this is one of the few things I, like, vividly remember. Is you meet Gorski, who's, like, the director of security for, for Southgate Station. He's, like, their big fucking general. He's essentially a general. And you, you meet him, and he gives you some lip. And so I gave him some lip back and he punched me. So, 
I remember that, but fuck him. Well, got it. That's probably a new mission. Who are they? We don't know. They have someone that tells blood they're human, I hope, but I'm not sure since I've never seen one without a mask. United Stations. We already know about the United Stations. I delivered the trading documents. Alright, what about my, uh... I wonder... That'll probably come up in the future. Um... Again, um... What's the word? Um... I don't know if we'll have a, a hand in deciding that, but I remember there being like some already some discussion like in quests, like at, like we had to deliver some documents or something. Um, I wonder where is it? Private quarters? Where's the main guy? Is he here? I have a house, by the way. Let's go check our room. Um, how's our door open? We probably did that. Personal computer. Faceless have been spotted. What was I talking about? Semi-urgent. Camp author. You can dump 40Ks in a useless house in Core City. Um. Well... While I would have liked, that's not, I'm not saying that's a spoiler, but, um, that would have been something for me to figure out. I guess it lets you, it probably has a personal computer, right? Which I assume you'll get a couple personal messages over the course of the game. Let me, uh, maybe it's in the comments. Yeah, this is where he, he, he lives. Um, I wonder if that'll end up being resolved either which way. Hadrian Tanner. This guy's this guy's the leader. I've met with Rail Crossing's problem. I've dealt with Rail Crossing's problems. Explain how the faceless invaded them. Uh, interesting. Did you manage to find out why they invaded? I have some reason to believe some sort of electronic device that's currently in the hands of Cornell and the Asnunders gang from Core City. We must find the item and recover it. His voice deepens. We must go to Core City and look for this Acid Hunters band and their leader Cro Cornell. Retrieve their device from him if he still has, blah blah blah. Be careful, it goes without saying that getting between the faceless and their core is dangerous. He hands you five hundred SGS credits. Uh, who are the Omega? They were a neighboring station. Fortunately, some hot airs bombed their inside the coast. Blah, blah, blah. Finally, into war. For them, we were stronger. Oh, so we killed Omega Station. I mean, I wasn't here during the, that war. What can you tell me about those outposts near the crossroad caves? Used by the Omega's part of the defense perm against our station. What do you think Think that faceless artifact actually is? A weapon or a part of it? What could have go to the... Blah, 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 blah. How should find Cornell? Run by the oligarchs can be of assist assistance there. What can you tell me about Core City? City spanning both the lo lower and upper that used to be one of the main old Biocorp communities. Now it's run by three oligarchs, each with his own organization. Host the arena in the gauntlets, most probable. Blah, blah, blah. Be careful when you visit. Oh, there's police by the above. Fringes run... Yeah, we could... I, I knew. I was surprised how much uh, combat there was walking around some back alleys. What's going on, Justin McCoblin? How you doing, man? We saved some guy here. Like, we, it was either... Or no, old Jonas or Newton. We saved someone. There's a cat. All right. That's that. Um, I'm just trying to get back up to speed with everything. We're going to talk to Big Brett one more time to see if he has any flavor text. It actually, at this point, because I'm, I have some fucking money... It's not even for the reward, it's, uh... Alright. Some of that got us- caught us up to speed, so that's good. Um... 40k plus coins. I have a little bit, I have 6.3. I have- I have some fucking dosh. I have some fucking dosh. Um, cave tunnel and exit. So we'll do... Harold wants you to check out an old battery recycling plant located in the cave straight to the east from SGS. Haven't I been here, though? It's this one. Yeah, it's definitely this one. All right, we'll, we'll go through there. 
Let me just talk to this guy. Open the gate now. Open the gate, please. Uh, caves. That noise kind of spooks me. Jake, do you ever get like a companion like that's with you 24/7? And or can you mod this game to have a companion with you 24/7? Cuz um this game that kind of spooked me. This game could definitely use some companions. So we're yeah, we're here. We're in Crossroads Cave. I would have forgotten what I did. It took so long to it, would have forgotten what I did if I took a long break from this game. Yeah, well, luckily, I'm only... I'm not saying, like, there's three acts and I'm done with one-third of the game. I'm, I'm sure there's multiple quote-unquote acts in this game. I mean, honestly, every every story has three acts. So, I'm not saying I'm... Uh, long story short, I'm done with, like, the first block of the game so I can remember most of it. Like, it's just... It is what it is. I did some... I did some missions to... Fu to, to soup up Southgate Station as our, our first show of, um, what's the word? Skill, uh, labor. We had to find some documents from Omega Station. Obviously that Omega, I don't know what was going on with that Omega Station. I forget some of that, because I'm sure, I'm sure there's some dumb, like, fucking, like, I don't, I don't remember there being, can I go in? How do I do this? Can I go in there? What's special about this? What do I do with this again? You can open vents with a tool. Oh, so probably what I would do is um, select this and do that. I mean, we, we can do that. I'm just curious. It might lead to a, like a, a, a supply closet. Um, do I do this? Omni tool. So it requires a certain level of locking skill. Well, let's let's try it, you know? I wonder what closing a, a ventilation shaft does. Okay. I'm just like deadly curious, you know what I mean? I I have to also like Oh, cool, you can like see before you go in. Okay, so everything we... This is very simple, but it's been a while. So that's... That's some good shit that I, uh... Surely there's, like, a quicker way. Do I have the Omni tool down here? So we have bandages, health hypo, cybooster, adrenaline shot. So we have an adrenaline shot on the bar. Can I do this? No, so it has... To, oh, oh, TNT charge, there. Jesus, that's scary that it's just on my bar. Um... This should probably be on our bar somehow, but oh well, whatever. Maybe we get rid of the attack button? I, I don't know if there's anything important back here, or if I've already been here. I might not have been here, because this... Why does that look ominous? Why is there lighting there? That looks ominous. I don't think we've been back here. There's also a utility bot for some reason. I'm so sorry the last couple of... Uh, also, I'm going to be scatterbrained regardless. Utility bot remote control. Or is he about to operate a mechanism? Maybe this is for a future future quest. Surveillance monitor. This this is like for some bullshit. I I scope components. A thousand value. Let's look through our items to see. Obviously, these weapons are like 5,000-ish. Are these auto-sorted? Now they are. Uh, it's not auto-sorted, though. Uh, a desaturated is 500. A bandage is 150. A health hypo is 600. Obviously, you want to use that as a benchmark, like a health potion. How, how expensive is a health potion? What is... Restores 140 health points over 7 seconds. Health must be over... 
Oh, we have to be over 40%. I knew there was something special with the bandages. We have to be over 40% total health um, to even use it. Or else it just won't, it won't take effect. We have a shit ton of keys, so I don't know what we're going to do. About oh, there's not a key ring in this game? That's going to that's gonna bunch up our inventory so quick. We've got a galvanic vest worth 2,000. Right. We do not press that key anymore. We're going to leave the way we came. I'm just, like, so curious what's... I don't know about that. Keys are auto used. Well, impossible. Wait, no. Wait, really impossible? Well, there's no way I can burst that down. Possible. Well, I know they're auto used, but it's like, um. Oh, maybe we'll just have to do it like this. If I'm, like, super looking for something. What is this? Non-plot? Ooh. We could just do non-plot. Did, but did that hide my little utility thing? This weird little... Let me quick save and then fuck with this utility robot. Where's the little... Where's the little gizmo? There it is. So does that count as plot related? I think it does. So that's that's one reason not to do non plot. Whatever. Uh, utility operate move. This is so stupid. I love it. So this is probably for some type of. Um, This is probably for some type of, uh... I kind of don't want to do this, because it's just a waste of my time, but it's like, I'm so curious. You know? I can, I can put this on the... Oh, we can shift, uh, our army tool down here, I guess. That makes sense, at least. Alright. There's a power box you can fuck with. Hot bar of those, or are you going to have to go in your inventory every time? No, you're not wrong. I actually knew that without you saying that. It's just, I, I this was so self-contained. I was curious if I could, like, just do it without. This is strange that this is just right down here. Battery recycling plant. Are we in the battery recycling plant? I bet you this is what we were actually. Oh, my God. I think this is what we're supposed to do. I think. Uh, I guess we have it like turn off these. Okay. Oh, this is so dumb. I kind of want a hard save because I feel like I'm going to accidentally fuck something up. <sighs> There's a crate. Watch there be like a key in there or something. This is, this is such a waste of our time, everybody. Now we are cut off. I bet you this is what we're supposed to do. I've just got a feeling, especially because we're technically in the, the battery recycling plant. We need to find somewhere to open up this door for us. So there's probably no enemies in here because... Um, I 
Let's see if it can operate a fucking desk or something. Let's see what, what happens if we do this. No. What if I do this? Can I? No. You have to move next to it. Good. Oh god. I think you do at least. Um. Probably has the best stealth, best stealth in the genre. I do think that, um... I don't know about that. Oh, God. This is so... Not the way we want to do this. There's probably no enemies in here, because if they just, like, destroy this machine, then we're fucked. Did it just... Did it just destroy? Did it just... Did it just... Oh, oh, I thought it would have a fucking, uh... I thought it had a camera on it or something. That is so strange. I was, like, worried it, like, got killed by the, the energy box or something. How do I... We are so far removed from back here, it's kind of a pain. Well, we can't see around that. I think, I think my character, well, let's check this out. Well, well, let's, let's do this and then go from there. I think my character we have to get this guy over here to unlock all this bullshit. And then um, we have to go out here to see him do something out here. So let's... I think that's what we have to do. Um... Fuck. It's just a waste of everyone's time, though. Let's be real here. No, you know what? Because, like, we were able to, like... No, it does have, like, a little camera. I don't know what's... I don't know what's going on with that area or what. Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. This is going to take all day. I could do this. Wait, how does it go? There's, there's actually a speed up button. I apologize about that. There's uh, where is this speed up slowdown? No, oh, yeah. Where do I do this? I can't even see where it's. Is it? Is it? Does it happen over my character? That's so strange. Whatever. Do I have to hold it? There's, there's supposed to be a speed up and slow down button. No, I'm doing it. It, I'm doing it. I, I, let's just not. Let's just do it. Let's let's just not worry about it. That system doesn't want to work. That system doesn't want to work. Okay. Oh, is it this? Oh, uh, okay. The doy. Okay. Not right, okay. Uh. So that's how we started. We'll just do it like this. Yeah, okay, well now things are faster, so that's a that's a start. Sorry about that. Is this still like this? I guess, yeah. This is such a waste of our time, everybody. At least we sped it up, right? Okay.
We could definitely use a sardine. Um, sorry, it took me a while to respond to that. Bless you. Okay. Um, we might be in luck. I'm just not good enough for sardine anymore. All right, so that's running. Guess we'll try these ones and see what's up. I really should have paid attention to what these power boxes do. Um... Okay, so then... Oh, I almost fucking died if that were an option. Alright, so then I do this, and then we can get out here, whatever that entails. You can probably just operate and then the bot short circuited. That was such a pain. <laughs> that was that was such a fucking pain. Um I don't know if if the stealth what what actually like I'm not even trying to force audience interaction. If you're if you're not busy, um Use download. Blueprint to your wrists. That really scared me. I thought that was my actual IRL dog. That was really. I probably should have just. Shield emitter base. That actually really scared me. I probably shouldn't have downloaded that, but I mean, hey. That that legitimately really scared me. I wouldn't say really, but. Optoelectric nuclear battery blueprint. That's. Are they. Am I about to get attacked? What's going on? Oh, it, I am technically. There's something on the other side of this area that's like fucked. That's what that is. Oh. Uh, good luck. Good luck staying amongst the long. Plasma discharger. I guess just that. Wait, what is a plasma charger component? Oh, it's important. Component means expensive. Those are rats. Oh, those are well, they're rat hounds. So at least I'm half right. But um, that's that is actually a scary noise. Like you're doing a quest, and then you and like they come in behind you after you do a certain part because they can tell you're in a, a house. All right, that was um. How do I take that off? All right, there's that Omni tool as well. I almost fucked up. Let's put the Omni tool on this bar, and then we'll put TNT in the middle of this bar. I'll forget about it, but I'll kind of... Now that I'm playing it again, it's not like I'm going to really forget about it. All right. I can't mess with that now. I think I think the purpose of all this is we learned... Um, we, we, we found a schematic for a better nuclear battery. I think it's literally... Oh, it has a surveillance monitor on it. That was the whole... I I randomly... I'm so lucky I... Uh... That just worked out perfectly. I did not know this was the battery depot. There's some, there's some rat hounds over here for some reason, but whatever. Oh, have we never been this far east or something? Oh, um... Let me slow down the game again. And maybe plan two. So there's, there's technically, oh, that was kind of sloppy of me, but whatever. Do I dare go for some shots? Like how much, like, what if I just like did some like stabby stabs? I don't think I have the, uh, how do we want to do this? Um, aim shot, guarantees a critical hit. Yeah, it's, that's freezies. Ooh, that's 
I don't have enough to do a spray. Do I have enough to do a burst? Oh, thank goodness that worked. Okay, I thought that was... I thought it just got fucked up. Alright, and then... Is that is that the turn? He's gonna, he's gonna take a stab at me. Oh, could you only move? Ah, oh, you little slut. I've got it. I've got to go for it. God, I'm just such a fucking alpha male. Um... It's an unconditional special attack. Well, Alright, regardless. Oh, I'm just so good at what I do. That's all movement points. What is this? Oh, I enjoy one shot. Hi. I don't think they have anything interesting for us. That's actually kind of not. It's not not worth some things, but I don't think it's. Do we have the weight for it? Let's just loot the rat rat hound shit. Let's just loot the rat hound shit. Burst is very good. Um, yeah, and then I'm specced into making burst. Good. Um, there's no reason to go off the beaten path in this game, for the most part. Um, I discover an underwater rock bridge. I guess that's a perception thing. There's no reason to go off the beaten path. Oh, let's uh, do a uh, reload. How do I do a reload? All right. I think I could have just pressed that first button. Well, luckily we fought some of the easiest weapon uh, monsters in the game to uh, get back in the swing of things. I really wish I had some like uh, heal over time. All right, what are we looking at? We got the meat. All right, that's. Oh, this is actually technically to Camp H Hathor. We are so. Oh, so you know what? I. Oh, I got. That's scary. How'd you guys come here? How'd you guys get here? I guess they just ra randomly spawned. So let's go for an aimed shot. Now nah, let's yeah let's do that. That's really good. That's loud. Let's turn that down. Um. Yeah. Let's do this. Now he's suppressed. I don't know if that really does anything. Kneecap shot. Oh, missed. Do I get a free reload? I do. Uh, no? I do not. We kind of... Oh, wow, he still doesn't get an... He, he doesn't get an attack. Ooh. Alright, this is gonna suck. Um... I don't think there's a tax opportunity in this game. No. Converts all remaining movement points into evasion at 300% conversion rate for two turns. So that's like one, two, three, four. So that'd be what? Four times three is like 12 uh, evasion points, which isn't anything, but. Let's go here on the off chance it helps break up their turns. Save seven action points. Tell me about it. Ooh, good misses. Fine. I think we just burst. So burst also, for anyone who doesn't play this game, so anyone besides Jake, there's a chance if I miss, I'll hit something next to it, or like behind it. So technically these guys weren't behind him, so it didn't work out that way, but I was hoping it would kind of like move slightly one pixel to the right. Oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Ooh. Well, there's no way I could have known. Do I have any more... Uh... And then... I can't believe... Let's go slicey dicey and see what happens. Oh, that also uses, like, no... No ability points, which is, you know, a, a pro. Ugh, I am fucking tired. 
like like tired in the brain and i didn't even like it's not like i even drank uh that much last night yummy uh eat rat damn you that's what we're gonna have to do when world war three starts everybody burst is very good yeah i already read that i apologize Guys, I tell you, when I don't stream for like two, three days, I, get, I lose all my streamer skills, which is weird since I've been doing this for so long, but... Shadow, shut up. Oh, I have said that before. Hey. I have, but... You know. Give me a fat one. No. Oh, uh, you know what's funny? Here, this is, a, this is, this is the rat hounds I'm, I've been fighting. Are you ready to lick it and sniff her? Are you ready to lick it and sniff her, Fleshy? Look at that big rat. Look at that big fucking rat. Look at that big ratto. Let me get some more of this coffee in me. So that's actually not a rat. It's a... Well, actually, someone will, will tell you. It's a... Um, it's a nutria, so it's it's actually like a. It looks like a fucking rat. Let's look at our, a nutria from the front, because it looks more like the beaver, which it is. They they trimmed the whiskers or something, because it this is such a beaver, but that thing looked like a giant. It's not a rat. It well, technically it's a rodent, so it is technically a giant rat. However, it's not like a rat. It's a type of beaver, but. Something about I don't know if they groomed it to make it to make it like funny. Like they groomed it to be like Tiki uh we're gonna go viral. But it looks like a giant fucking rat. <laughs> it looks like a giant fucking rat. Uh we need to sell some shit. Rat stew. Oh, that is sad. About the battery recycling plant. Yes, you'll love this. Here's a blueprint. I've been, but there's nothing there but junk. I've, here's a blueprint that contains something about optoelectric nuclear batteries. I think you'll find it useful. He shoot his eyebrows shoot up at the mere side of the thing you brought him. Wow, what a lucky find! He inserts the drive into his portable computer, takes a look at it. Well, I was looking for some info how to make our own battery, but this has information how to revive the dead ones. It's nearly as good. Ha! Never knew you could do that with a photovoltaic uh, cell. Great, glad you're happy. As I promised, here's your rewards: 300 SGS credits. See you around. How much can I sell to you? 400. Wait, does that work? Okay. Oh no, he won't buy that. That's whatever's lit up. Energy shield emitter. I'll pop that. Fuck it. I'm never gonna really get into crafting, but it doesn't hurt to like if it sounds fucking cool. Ezra is like a weirdo. I hope he I hope Ezra is not secretly like a main character, like a, a dude. He's, Ezra is specifically, like, a weird psyker that, like, is, like, fucking strange. Harold seems pleased with that da bat battery data you gave him. Very good. So that's kind of cool that he notes that. What do you buy here? Nothing I have. Actually, yeah, you buy some bullshit. We, we should stop, uh, finding components. Fusion cell. Nuclear... Fusion, we might sell some of those. Supercharged lithium. Yeah, we don't need 40 batteries. How do I split? Shift left click to split. No. Okay, good. Oh, they tell you their value. 10 is 10. So, so if it's 2,000... 100? I don't I I'm not gonna pretend to understand the, the, the way they denominate their their shit. Seeker goggles. I have adaptive goggles. Perception increased by one. Dodge decreased. Hmm. Dodge decreased. Critical chance of ranged weapons increased by ten percent. What's my regular crit chance? Critical chance of five, so it'd be fifteen. Technically, since I'm specced into bursting, I would lose like one to one to four percent chance to hit on bursts in every shot. If I if I because my 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 adaptives give me one perception, right? So I would lose about probably four percent 
chance to hit on most shot on almost every shot. Um, however, I would gain a 10% chance to, to hit ch chance to crit for a total of 15 burst. Oh, and this is burst precision, 15%. That's why I like this MP six is because it's burst pre precision plus 15%. Um, I should kind of use this. We'll, we'll do a crit build for now. It'll be fun. We'll see what it's like. We'll hold on to both. Uh, we'll sell that. All right, so we've wiped out his. We've wiped out his credits. Electric lantern. We've wiped out his credits, which sucks. Um, Shrek made him look so tasty, chunky. I like him big. I like him chunky. How uh, how clean is squirrel when you eat it? Because I, I think squirrels with bot flies aren't really a thing in most North America. Maybe it's a place in the, like, deserty areas, but... Like, do squirrels have, like, a bunch of parasites? Uh, Daniel would know, because Daniel doesn't, like, eat... What is this? Seeker night vision goggles equipped for real chance of increased by 9%. Well, as you see in the dark, turning on the device costs not energy. Oh, that's dumb. It's a waste. Additional 3 energy every 5 seconds. So... So it's 150 seconds this lasts. Thought control increased. No. Our thought control is not bad. Let's get back into the game. I apologize. Um, why won't you accept this? Oh, he doesn't accept that. That's good. And then... You charge an item. Oh, well, I definitely don't need that. Uh, sorry about, about all that, everyone. Yeah, we'll sell a little bit more batteries. I think these are the same batteries. It's just um, one's like higher, higher deal. Uh, whatever let's let's get back into it. i apologize everybody um i have a i have a like kind of a shit ton of shit and not a lot of people to sell it to so it sucks daniel eats them raw starting from the the nuts fleshy i think we're gonna have to start a new rule that you have to uh crank one out before you get into stream so since we did a quest is your yeah your shit is uh I don't think we do anything with those. Can I sell you guns? You don't buy... Maybe it's because they're laser... They're plasma pistols. Maybe that's why. Energy, energy usage per shot. 14. So what, you have to reload every, like, four shots? That seems weird. I bet you the damage is really high. I bet you that's what's... I bet you that's what the deal with them is. is the damage is really high. I wonder what it'd be like to use... Well, I have... Well, sadly, I'm... Oh, maybe I could use a uh, uh, laser SMG if they make those. Maybe they don't, but... Let's uh, sell this. Uh... We're we're really plodding along right now, guys, and I don't like it. We're not really doing anything interesting and juicy, but we're going to try to fix that soon. I'm just trying to... Who do I sell this shit to, then? Someone here, Quentin. Bro. I don't know about all that. Wow. Oh. Can I just like destroy shit? Can I drop shit on the ground? You can. Wow. It's it's just stuff. Ugh. Not be using combat, you know shit. Um, is there a secondary dude that there's? Oh no, it's just a botanist. Maybe this guy will take our uh, our pelts. No. I really don't like how they like all the merchants are like divvied up. There's probably one or two general merchants in the game, or like there's probably several. Now I think about it. Medical and we'll see. I don't eat raw stuff. Yeah, like who who would? Oh, I just I just dropped some shit on the ground, everybody. Two dog crates. Yeah, that's that shit to fucking 
drop on the ground, I tell you, all right. All right, what was going on with that guy? Did a bullet popped out? I do not. We're supposed to find... Oh, is it this guy? We're supposed to find out... Uh... There's some corpse that, like, washed up in here. Not ne not specifically washed up, but still. Bissin. What's in here? Are we allowed to hack it? Alright, let's get out of here. I, I uh, apologize for taking so long. Um... Can we take a rail to someplace? How do we get to rail crossing? So, what other? What are some other quests we can do in Southgate Station? Get some raw meat from Mordre. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait. It, at the Mushroom Cove. How much raw meat should I get him? I should have kept some of the raw meat that I sold. I'll buy some, because I don't really care, and then probably like five or ten units if he has it. So what do you do, what do you use for raw meat? Pig leather. Got some fucking adrenal glands. Is this Chem's area? We'll go, we'll, we'll try to buy some raw meat from somewhere and then go from there. Oh, let's, uh, is there a quick button to switch our weapon? Oh, let's also, let's fucking lock and load. Let's go to the common thing cantina. Let's finish up quests around this main area first before we start doing, like, separate, different, uh... Oh, my God. What, what counts as raw meat, you know? I guess we gotta kill some rat hounds and find out. How do we get to the cave, uh, Mushroom Cove? Because that is a thing. Mushroom Cove. Some raw meat from Mordra. Will this take me to the Mushroom Cove? It's a doggo! Okay then. You will not take me to the Mushroom Cove. I like how we just have to... If we go to Camp Hawthor to like kill... To kill their fucking... Um... Alright, so we'll, we'll go to the Mushroom Cove. And we will inevitably, we will inevitably fight some uh, rat hounds on the way, and let's we'll see. Pork, pork. We'll see what we can do on that. Um, what else are we doing? Um, let's do some shitty side quests. Maybe I should just sneak the whole way. I think there's some guards around here. South Mushroom Cove. I wish they explained which way. So is the game just supposed to be that's east, that's south, that's west, and then that's north? Is that what they're trying to say? Because that doesn't even line up with the... Oh, actually it does. It technically does. I guess I guess that's the implication. I guess I guess we're learning that now. I should hard save sometime, but... But yeah, do you know, Daniel, of like, squirrel... Like, I hear squirrels like gamey and like, not that good tasting, but...
Oh my goodness, you scared me. It's a random cave hoppers running away. Do you know of Squirrel? I don't know. I've never had Squirrel. Aww. You would have been the wily old cute coot that would have, that would know. That's what I would say. Okay, well. Let's go for... Aim shot. Then I guess we can move up. Because why not? Try to finish him off. Go for a burst. Right. Oh, so I have just been dropping shit on the ground, which is okay. Enter building. That's that's a mistake. So is Mordre in here? No. Maybe he's in this like one of these center areas. Where does this go? Junkyard. I technically haven't been this way if that if that door isn't open. More is there a die? Ah, saw me. So he's gonna walk up and do a fucking brain blast. I just leave. I can actually I have to. Uh, I don't know if he can follow me. I don't think he can follow me through zones. I don't think so. You know what sucks is. Is there a rock bridge? I think you're supposed to be able to get there. Um. What am I trying to say? Maybe he's like down here. Maybe there's like a fisherman. He's probably down here. Yeah, see? Fuck. Well, at least we know... This 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 side quest is almost pointless, but it's fun, you know? It's a nice cigar you have there. Thanks. Must have caught a lot. You just smoke. I enjoy smoking here. No one has to complain. No one has, uh, no one's asked for a cigar. Got a spare cigar? No. Tell me about deep eels. What do you think of the Faceless Invasion? The oligarchs are not as powerful as they were. Alright, well... Heart is technically some meat. Next time we kill some rat hounds, which... Coming up shouldn't be too hard. Considering, what, what is this place? Mushroom Cove. More Mushroom Cove. So there's literally like a guard out there for no reason. And then... Actually, there might be some... That was an Azura die, probably. Yeah. Do I have enough for a burst? Oof. Let me turn down that, uh... Effect some more. Ooh, I should have walked back a little bit, because he's going to brain blast! I'm getting brain blasted! I'm actually getting brain blasted. Um... Okay, that's a start. Good shit. Hey, oh. Go for a kneecap. No. Can I, can I shoot or no? No. Oh well. Don't you neural overload me. That's suppressed. So you can play that game. Neural overload. No 
Okay. We can walk away to... He'll probably be able to move into range. Oh, no he's not. Brain blast! Gun blast! <laughs> so I highly doubt that's meat. Oh! Cave hopper meat. Oh, hell yeah. How much K-popper meat? Get some raw meat? He probably just needs one. I think I got lucky there. So those guys are like little things that you have to like trap. But I think he just wanted some K-popper meat. Did I get lucky and I just fucking... Let's use a bandage by the way as well. I need to buy some bandages. Ooh, that's some serious healing. Brought you some meat for the eels. Do you want to trade it? You can have it for free. It's no big deal. I never take charity. We must trade. What can you offer? How about a health hypo? Make it two and you have a deal. Mercantile! You drive a hard bargain, but very well. Now to catch some eels. I'll leave you to it. Alright, was that mostly pointless and we got that quest probably like hours ago? Yes. Is it relaxing to help? It must suck to be that fucking guy, just fucking... I don't think I've ever had Rattlesnake either, which I almost did. Maybe I did have a little bit of snake. Because uh, we might have ordered some at the Big Texan. We used to live in Amarillo, Texas, and there is a very... Set there's a semi-famous, let's put it that way. There's a semi-famous uh, uh, restaurant called the Big Texan. It's a tourist trap. It's good, good food, you know. If it's if you're if you're a steakhouse in Texas, you you know what you're doing. I hope I don't have a heart attack because of all this coffee. I biked 20 miles today, actually. Mostly because of the coffee. I was like, oh, I've just got a lot of energy. I'm, I I biked for like 72 minutes. I usually bike for anywhere between like 40 to 60 is the go-to. 30 to 60, but usually 40 to 60. And, um... I don't know if I'm ever to do this quest, because I just don't know how. Meet Gorski in Core City. Terry and Laura Baker, they're less heard from, the, and they might have stopped. Let's go to Rail Crossing again. We're not we're not doing Core City for a while. The Rat Hound King is probably a fucking pain. Let's do Rail Crossing. Junkyard. Let's, let's, let's check up on the Junkyard. Let's check up on the junkyard, and then we'll go to Rail Crossing for some more quests. Let's do that. That sounds like a plan. Junkyard also fucking blows when it comes to it. Doesn't the junkyard have a protectorate? Alright, so there's the protectorate, and then who... Is it the core city? There's some, like, some term for them. We'll give her eight chains. I probably should have given her the Southgate uh, station chips. Uh, are there any more quests here? Did we sign with, side with either of these? Doc Master Silas. How do I get to the wormhole again? Tell me about the black eels. Are you the head honcho? We control the docks. Scrappers control the old junkyard. There's plenty of heaps this heaps this side of the fence too. And unlike the crazy zone raids, it doesn't cost live lives to salvage it. And besides, it doesn't like the scrappers can ship their stuff anymore. Better help. But leaving now. Well, excuse you. All I did was walk into this building. I didn't even fucking like dick with anything. It's got a wide open door. That's kind of realistic. Whatever. Junkyard commoner. Alright. Let's trade a little bit. So if we're lucky... Image of Sharon. 
common currency in the south on the road because its value is derived uh, directly from the me me value of the metal it's made of. So these people aren't going to buy any. Young woman, thin as a rail. Need shrooms or plants? I'd like to sell you guys some of my bullshit. And I think the Sharon's vestigian coins are worth more than the Southgate station stuff. It's all almost... Oh, they don't take this up here, actually. They don't take Southgate, Southgate station credits. That's rough. Oh. Wait, no, you do take that. You 100% take, take that. What is wrong? It your your UI tip. Oh my god, they only take so much. Oh my god, that's true. Holy hell. Two padding. <gasps> no. There we go. Give me 20 Stygians. Sure. I actually have more Stygians than Southgate. I wonder if Core City takes SGS credits. Internal currency. So that's kind of a red flag, but I'm not too worried. There is a uh, arms dealer here named Len. He will not purchase any of my bull any of my energy weapons. That's some fucking money, I'll tell you what, though. Galvanic Riot Armor. So we aren't strong enough to wear, like, um, medium armor. Armor suit. Armor, no, so they're all armor suits, but... Minimal strength, three. Steel shield for extra protection. Against. So we will never be able to wear, like, heavy armor, sadly. Groin guard, it's all... It's all fun in games until someone loses a nut. <laughs> Immune to dirty kick stun duration. Gloves. Are these are these punch gloves? These are punch gloves. So sadly I'm specced into um, SMGs for the rest of the game. Spec Ops, reduce action point cost for burst attacks and boosters when using SMG plus reduces. Cooldown of flashbangs and similar, that's not bad. That's your ability when activated. I have some other stuff, crossbow SMG. So technically, um, this kneecap shot is also like a, which isn't that good. I think I must have taken this, but it's not that good. Maybe it gave it to me, I don't know. You can't use it with an assault rifle, so I mean. Suppressive fire, and who's got your level attack on? Oh, burst. Ranged chance to hit reduced by 10. Action points. Action points reduced by 5. That's actually really strong. The movement points reduced by 10 for one turn. That's actually not that bad. That means it's hard for them to... That's actually really good. It's harder for them to move up to me. And even when they do move up to... That's probably why we haven't been getting attacked by those, those rat hounds when they got close to us. Because we, we uh, suppressing fire. Them. Wow, it's crazy. Everyone is out to get you and you know it. Detection increased by 20% and initiative by 5 and chance to get critically hit by weapons and unarmed attacks reduced by 3. Also, your weapon and unarmed damage is increased by 30% against stealth targets. But how can I attack? I can't attack them, though, if they're stealth, though. Isn't that true? Nimble reduces armor penalty by 15% and grants 50% bonus to dodge and evasion if your armor penalty is at 0. Reduces armor penalty by 15% and grants 50% bonus to dodge and if your armor penalty is at 0. Aimed shot... Guarantee that's not bad. But. Are we ever gonna have an opportunity to like really? One sec. Where are my feet again? Kneecap shot. Well, it deals an additional 125% of the original damage over three turns. So. Why is a bleeding wound? Oh, it's a bleed shot, which actually isn't that bad. It's just extra damage. And removes all movement points for the same duration. Oh, um... Removes all mo Oh, okay. 
So that's why my brain is telling me, oh, it's whatever, is because it only works on living targets that have knees. Um, a lot of these, like, remove, like, 25% of movement a turn or some bullshit, and it ends up not being that good. This removes all movement points. Okay, that's actually really good. All right. So I just want to see so Grover's fucking dead. Abram is some weird, like... He knows something, probably. Got any real food? Heard any good rumors? Heard some of the captains speak about a place called the Silent Isle. It's supposed to be haunted by sailors, eh? Suddenly, I'm not hungry anymore. You'll be back. Lenny the Cook. Oh, I'm sure... I'm sure Lenny Cook's all right. Can I walk back here? Let's... Let's quick save and see. Can I at least walk back here? I can walk back here. Can you see I'm busy? Go away. All right. K2. The dog tilts his head quizzically and says at you. Woof. Sit, boy. Begins to growl. Back away slowly. Aw. Woof. Play dead. Aw. He's an angry doggo. Oh, there's a video game here. What's going on with 